Crispin Glover is an odd guy. He may be best known for playing George McFly in the first Back to the Future, but did you know he wasn't in the others? So even though Crispin Glover played a pivotal role in Back to the Future's success, he was very difficult on set. He would have constant arguments with producer Bob Gale and director Robert Zemeckis. Initially, Glover was only privy to some of the script, which was a common practice that directors and producers would use to make sure the script wouldn't leak out. But this didn't sit well with Crispin. His biggest dissatisfaction was with the film's ending, which he felt propagated the message that money buys happiness. If you remember, Marty comes home and turns out his family is now well-to-do. Glover demanded a salary equal to Michael J. Fox's, which the producers and Zemeckis flatly refused, offering him half the amount instead. This dispute resulted in Glover not reprising his role. So, to maintain continuity without Glover, the producers recast George McFly using a guy named Jeffrey Wiseman and applying prosthetics to mimic Glover's appearance. The decision to use another actor with Glover's likeness without his explicit consent led to a legal battle that significantly impacted Hollywood, changing how actors' images are used in the film industry.